What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Again, it's been a long time, but still here nonetheless. Uh, big things changed. Uh, I got some upgraded audio equipment and casing for the GoPro. So now uh, no more shaky noise or hand on, uh, you know, hand vibration noise if you want to call it that. I'll uh, put a picture of it there. Uh, so now you got a nice little fur ball above you. So if you see any of these hairs, like if it bends down like that, if you see that, that's what it is. I'm gonna try my best to keep it out of the way, but lo and behold, you can't do everything. Uh, today we got some fun things that happened. I saved up my my money, and as you can probably see from the thumbnail and the video, we got uh, front straight axle piece here. A arms ready to go, sort of. And got Christmas over here, so we got our brake rotors, calipers underneath, miscellaneous hardware, bearing seals, hymen ends, and then we got our spindles and kingpin in there. Uh, so today, as again, as you saw. We're going to be putting the front axles through the A-arms. Um, today, I'm just going to work on assembling the spindles and the rotors, getting the wheel bearings packed and greased, um, and then I'll probably take it all off, set it aside, maybe wrap in some plastic so it stays nice. And then I'll chop this up, cut my holes, do my welding, and I should be able to put this back on and it'll be ready for wheels and tires on the front. And then it's just move on to shocks for up front. And then we can move on to the massive project that is the back. And then we have a rolling chassis. And then I probably need to figure out a roll cage and then get the frame inspected so I know I can actually keep going on with this project. But nonetheless, let's get started on these uh, spindles and the kingpins and the rotors.
that's a that's a lot messier. I guess it's not messier than I thought. I've watched uh, many research videos on how to do this. Uh, if anyone, oh Jesus, I'm trying not to get the handle all dirty, but it's just gonna happen. Uh, anyone that doesn't know, I've never done this before. <laughs> I have my dad come in and make sure I'm doing it right. I still have a couple questions to make sure I did everything right, but I think I'm good. Oop. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I did it right. So uh, we're, we'll move on to the next one. I'm going to do that tomorrow. It's dirty. It's late. As you saw, I need to pick up more rubber gloves. I have... I had a box. I thought I had like 10 left in there. I have four. Well, I used two to pack these two bearings. And I figured I'd just use paper towel for the rest of the assembly. And, well, now it's late, so I'll just wait till tomorrow. Till after uh, work. I'll go pick up a box of new gloves. And I'll, have, I'll get a fresh pair of gloves every time I feel like it. All right. But that's a... Uh, Next thing you'll see is the time lapse of the other one, so have fun. Wish I could time travel. Alright guys, so what we got going on now, we just finished up making the spindles. They're over there in some bags so that they, I can just keep them out of the uh, grinding dust and all that. Now we get to drill the hole in the A-arm. And last night I spent a lot of time, not necessarily 3D modeling, but printing. <laughs> and then having to take it to the uh, cutting wheel. But th what this will allow me to do is, uh, 
It's hard to see with the clamp there. But drill perfectly um, parallel to the frame, but at the perfect angle to the A-arm so that the axle sticks straight out there. So what I did, I made a block that has the same angle as the A-arm and a couple retaining walls. But then also, that's hard to see. There's a little drill hole right there made for an eighth inch drill bit. I'll use that 12 inch long eighth inch bit to get a perfect pilot hole all the way through. And then we'll bump up to um, maybe go through with one other size. And then we got the hole saw here. Two inch hole saw, Diablo cost me a lot of money so hopefully it uh, works really well I'll just have to take my time and use the uh, electric corded drill so that I'm not uh, going through batteries constantly and probably some uh, I'll use some WD-40 as some cutting oil especially in this uh, in the 3d printed part that way I don't melt it and I can hurry up and do both sides and then I shouldn't need that anymore. All right, well, the pilot holes sort of worked. Uh, my 3D print not as favorable but I think it's close enough or we'll find a way to make them work but I got as you can see if I point in the right spot we got one hole drilled with the Diablo bit that was a pain that really stunk um, had to buy a new electric drill because that one and where's the other one Oh, I had two in here. That one. And I, ha I had another one in here. Oh well. That one. Um, trigger speed was too sensitive. So with a thick metal cutting bit, you want to go slow. And I couldn't get that speed. So I went to the hardware store right before they closed. Picked up a nice master mechanic, hammer drill, drill combo, and uh, set, it's got the uh, variable speed limiter on the thumb, and on the thumb on the trigger, so I was able to find a good setting and just work with it. Constantly using WD's cutting oil, and I got one hole. By one hole, I mean one hole. I've not touched this side. <laughs> So, this is going to take a lot of work. I'll show you one. I might, I'll show you a short clip of one because it's really just me sitting on that mat forever. But that's the whole point of this series, right? Repetitive nature. finally got a hole. Two holes. Finally got two holes. But that just means two more to go. That's a lot of work. I mean, as you saw, you literally just have to sit there and hold pressure periodically just let back and add some WD, maintain the right speed, Ooh, but no it's good, I'm going to let the, I'll let the bit cool down, I'll let the drill cool down, give them a break, then I'm going to hit the other side before the night's over, 
Probably won't film it. Because, frankly, that was probably more boring than the other time lapse, so. Oh, well. Yeah, well, hopefully by tomorrow. Well, next scene for you guys anyway is going to be cutting that in half and then test fitting these and then marking them and then cutting them to the right angle and then squaring them all up and then make sure, making sure they're all nice and perfect and then welding them and then, yeah. For me, that's a few days away, but don't worry about it. I'm going to go get some pizza. All right, so we got the holes bored through. I don't know how much of this I'm repeating, but um, next step is going to be lopping off the axle, excess of the axle. This is the right distance I need for my angle. It's sitting at the right angle. I have the A arm. Seven degrees, that's kind of how I want the right angle to be, to match the model and aesthetically. But then the axle is level with the ground to make the kingpin, uh, the built-in caster and camber of the kingpin to work in normal steering conditions. And I will make sure that the A-arm stays at the seven degree angle when I adjust my shocks and have full weight, full ride weight on this unit. And then I just gotta do this other one, but I'm just gonna mimic the marks I have on this one, put on that one, call it a day. Then we can weld it up. Then I might uh, put the spindles on, get a thumbnail and call it a day. But I'll get back to you. I'm gonna cut those, mark them, I'm gonna cut them. I'll get them back in, get them ready to weld. The nice juicy time lapse of welding. All right, guys. We have done it. We now have axles, spindles, turning movie things, both sides. Everything is nicely welded in place. Ooh, excuse me. Same on this side. Now, we just need to get some rims, tires, and uh, work on the shocks. Ooh. Then we just gotta work on the shocks. Get them mounted. Some sort of bracket coming up for that. Bracket. Get some custom, custom plates, like teardrop shapes, a bolt going through, come up to a stem. I don't know if that's going to be perpendicular or kick off at an angle so that there's more room for more travel. Don't really know, but we will find out. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next few months. Mm -hmm.